Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode. Oh, I wasn't supposed to show that yet. Well, anyways, yeah, so uh just out here trying to get all this stuff cut up. Cut a couple more trees right here that were on the edge. That is our new plow and our cultivator, and I actually want to try to leave them hooked up like that. But so uh just kind of last night I thought about preparing for today's video I think I'll leave that long on there now get that bigger trailer um, so I was trying to think of where I want the next build and I think over here I done got all the trees cut down I got the leaves cut off of it I got a couple more trees I'm gonna cut like that one right there I think I got most of all of them right here but yeah I got most of all the I got all the trees cut I haven't cut the stumps yet so uh, we ought to have plenty of money after this, but first things first, I'm gonna get this cleaned up right here because I wanna build this field over here. And I don't know how, sorry about that. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know if y'all can hear I'm a little bit sick, but weather changing here on living. Hot, cold, hot, cold, hopefully. We are almost done with all of that, but uh, I don't know how I like this. It's alright. Guess better than uh, loading it up by hand. We're gonna get this cleaned up and then uh, it probably just be sold for now. I'm trying to kind of learn <clears throat> what wings I want to do. What kind of wings I want to do on these. way this thing goes. It took me forever just now before I recorded to figure out this thing uh, with a manual attachment mod. Apparently I've got to uh, attach some hoses on the front of this. I didn't know it and I was looking through my settings and everything trying to figure out why this thing was not working. Let me try to push these up a little bit. Take a look at it right. Oh, I don't want it on my fork. Just want to push it. Just try to make a little bit more room. Alright, we'll get this cleaned up. We'll get this one sold here and then uh, start making a feel. We'll get this one more. Keep on wanting to get underneath it. I wish it would. I mean, I guess it'd be a little more, let's say, realistic. I guess you could grab it like this, but I mean, but picking up the tracker with the forks on the front is not ideal. The forks are not going to last you too much time. You just keep on picking up the front of the tracker. Later. That was a little small field. I'm not too sure what we're going to put in it just yet. I guess we can see we're in September, I think. We're going to do wheat. Not too sure. Right, let's go get this a little bit sold, get a little money in our pockets. Get this strapped down. See how this, uh, that's all I need to just jump in the truck a bit. Oh, you can see I got my little help menu up. Uh, I forgot about that. I was trying to figure that thing out. So let's uh, let's take this over here and see how much we can get for it. Uh, I'm going to try selling in the sawmill again. Just to see if we I think it's space sleeping at one month. Man, that went bad. Awesome. That's the only thing about pulling in here. Um, I guess we'll get all this cleaned up. 
get all that laid down. Also, this trailer is not that bad to do this with. Anyway, we'll get back here and we'll start. I want to try to pull the plow with the cultivator. I don't know. I know uh may add together in the horsepower. So we may not be able to do that. We'll drop this weight somewhere where we can find it. That we don't have to put, uh, hook up any hoses yet. I'm gonna do allow the fields, hopefully. I think I want to start it like right here. Let's see if I turn it on. Apparently not. Well, darn it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. No, there's a hot key to turn on the Oh, it's counting as a cultivator. Yeah, we're gonna take the cultivator off of it. Don't tell me this thing's going to allow you to create fields. Well, are we going to have to buy a plow? I thought it said on our can be used instead of a plow. I guess we're gonna have to get a plow. An affordable one. I like that one. <laughs> the smallest one they have. I thought that we could use that might not click better. Yeah. Nope. Well, I guess we're going to have to get a plow. Hold up just a second. Alright, so we brought this back. Ended up, uh, as you can tell, I don't have very much money now, but, uh, Ended up going in there. Oh, dang, that was worth more than what I thought. Well, I ended up going in there and uh, gropping to them about how that didn't work for what we needed. And uh, the guy ended up finding something in the back that uh, nobody ever bought. Old case, international uh, chisel plow. We'll bring it back and see. Uh, See what we can do. We go. we got the wheel weights on the back. I noticed that uh, as I was looking through the catalog of different plows that I could add to the store, um, but there was some that required uh, as a uh, Whatever word it is, uh, wheel weights. That is recommended wheel weights. I'm not sure about that. Uh, we'll get this back to the farm and see how it goes. Alright, so we're pulling up now. Let's see how this thing ends up working out. 
You know, as I was driving, just thinking about that, what I said about uh, he found this in the back. I mean, out here in the middle of nowhere, I only got a log now. I, uh, uh, animal dealer and the dealership. I imagine they would have a bunch of stuff that uh, hadn't never sold. Just trying to think about it. But this is working out nice. Over here, try to keep everything as straight as possible. I tell now the lines I do is not so straight. Maximum. And the tractor's pulling it nice. I forgot to even look at the horse fire to be honest with you. I'll end it right there. Go back over here. Maybe. And try to get it lined up straight with this back piece. Be a nice little field to start out with. Now I need to bring that cultivator back to just because I would like just get it real straight on my own turn. I would like to uh, try to get something in this field today. I want to, but I don't, I don't know if it's going to end up working out the way I want to want it to. I like to get it. I just looked at it week and I think this is the last month that I could do it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I do have a direct drill. I don't know if you call it seed or cultivator or what. John Deere. I don't know how much they run. I haven't looked at it yet. Um, something else I found in that catalog. Alright, everybody. Uh, Sorry about the weird cut, and y'all may notice that I sound a little bit different. Uh, I was sick the past couple days. It's like uh, three or four days later. I ended up uh, stopping the video. I got the coughing so dang bad and everything. Plus my wife walked in, all this stuff. Anyways, I stopped the video just figured I'd record the rest of it. Uh, next couple days, I think we're at like nine minutes or something. We'll go until uh i think it's good but we got this plowed up now uh, <clears throat> i ain't got nothing else done but we did end up i don't know if the money's any different but we did end up selling the cultivator i have we're gonna run up here now and grab us our cedar that we bought so yeah, we're going to run up here real quick, grab it, and I will be right back with y'all. Alright, here we are, pulling up to the store, and also I looked through, found, looked through the catalog some more, and uh, found a lot more stuff, a lot more equipment. I was playing on another say that I don't have that manual attachment mod on. <laughs> Anyways, so let's uh, let's go ahead and kill this real quick. Let's run over here, and I got two bags of seed and two bags of fertilizer. I don't know if it's going to fit it all in there. Yeah. This is a John Deere uh, 8350. Yeah. And it also cultivates as you're going through. It's a, a driller. So, uh, I know I downloaded some more all right, man. I know the catalog shows some more. Uh, tractors. Let's see. Yeah. So here we get the Fiat. Bunch of the Fiat. I just got the little... I ain't never looked at these. Uh, the bulldozer. It's pretty cool. And then we've got the yellow Fiat, which I guess is going to be the same. You know, it looks about the same uh, deal. We got some more Fiat. We got a Ford in here. A couple of Fords. I think I already had that case. We got a John Deere 1630. 
Mm, sorry. We already had that John Deere. We got the John Deere A model. Which I play like this. That's just Michelin. I'll put skinny tires on there. But you can get rear twins. And that looks nice. I don't know why, but I love rear twins on a uh, tractor. Uh, I don't know if I had the 710 in here. I want to say I did. Now this, I ain't even going to try to butcher that name. We're just going to call it the Mash. That thing looks pretty cool. I don't, I don't know. I need to research to see if they're even real. I've never seen one. But it, it's, it's pretty cool. I thought. You can put a front weight on it. Engine with cover. Engine without cover. It's cool. Choice of headlights. Oh, I see it. Roof. Bolt. Extinguisher indoor. There it is. Things are outdoor. Can we can we have both? Yes. Pretty sure we're gonna do that. Bulldozer equipment. Oh, I see it. GPS. And then we've got Kramer. I don't say. Uh, I know I'm probably gonna butcher some of these names. Yeah, you can get the twins. Oh, you get that. The I guess you'd call it extended quick twins. We got the Massey Ferguson's. McCormick. Got the McCormick's. Which is a uh, international harvester also. I don't believe I had this. No, I did not. I didn't have this. And you know, they're all not too bad a price. Anyways, also, I wanted to go on this more of an old style the tractors I mean you can see right here I mean that's like bone stock like maybe the first uh, I just said it last night articulating tractor and we've got another we got the New Holland bulldozer with a cab without a cab I don't know if you'd even call that a no it's a, I mean that's a tractor it's not really a bulldozer um yeah we've got uh, this one anyways yeah we just ended up downloading a bot a little uh, bunch sorry I'm, I'm still kind of <clears throat> stopped up yeah we got old and I mean we got some of the larger older ones Articulating. Also articulating. Yeah. Um, and then the next thing we're going to be looking at is, I don't know how much they're going to be. Well, we got some of the old uh, harvesters also. I don't think I got any more of the old harvesters. So, more than likely, this one, this one. Well, that one right there is going to be our first ones. That one's 32, 45, 23. More than likely, this one right here is going to be our first harvester. And then, uh, hmm. Hopefully, I can find a boss and header. Yeah, there it is. That's the header to it. So, yeah. Well, we're more than likely to go with that from there. You know, I wanted to see on them bulldozers, or if they're even bulldozers, tractors. We got hydraulics. I wanted to see the combinations. Yeah, so they're they're actual bulldozers on there. Isn't there another track? Yeah. Yeah, bulldozer also. <laughs> if I do end up getting one, I'm probably going to get that one right there. I mean, I could afford it right now. I don't want to dump all of our money in that. I mean, there's no reason to. I mean, that thing is just awesome. I, I like the 
I mean, it's only 90 horsepower too, but anyways, let's go ahead and see if we can get this planter, the driller, back up to this. Let me stop filling it up. I think that's the fertilizer. <laughs> Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to um <laughs> Definitely gonna have to go get the truck. Let me go ahead and detach this. I don't know if let's see. Do it like that. It'd be a learning experience for both of us. Because I don't have a actual forks. I'm not gonna be able to do it like that. Oh yeah. Alright, let me go grab our truck and our trailer. I don't know, I'm going to just grab the truck and see if I can fit it all in the back. I will be right back with y'all. Alright, here we are back. Uh, go ahead and get this. I'm going to lower this one down. Go ahead and get these two loaded up. <clears throat> I'm still, I don't know, I guess it's the pollen that's getting to me right now. Uh, it's all got a bunch of drainage going on and stuff like that. Just make it in between now. Yeah, we'll just set it down right there. That's good enough. Now yeah, we we'll get these loaded up. We do it manually. You know what? This grabber is nice and everything. I mean, more realistic, and that's that's kind of what I'm shooting for with a manual attachment mod and all of that. I want to try to shoot for. Come on, realism. Didn't want to go. <clears throat> but um, I, don't know. I don't know how I like the. The grabber. It's alright, I guess. Come on. You gotta shift gears. The only thing I hate about these uh, tractors with these transmissions. There we go. I didn't know if I was going to be able to get both of them or not. I ain't lined up. I just throw this out in the middle. You know, really and honestly, I need to invest into, I guess, some actual forks that I can move. <clears throat> I think that's what I'm going to do. Hold up. Let's go ahead and get this loaded up. Put this on the trailer. Oh, this is the first time I ever used the grabbers. Uh, I feel like with the grabbers, you should be able to. Uh, fork up underneath the logs but uh just don't happen like that all right let's go in here let's buy the front end loader attachment i think i have if i ain't mistaken i do have some modded 
forks and stuff in here. Yeah. And actually, I'm thinking about starting a new series. I want to... <laughs> oh. I know... I want that one. <laughs> uh. I wonder... If... I can pick up bags of that. Uh, I'll only be able to pick up one. I'm gonna have to pick up pallets and everything lighter anyways. So I don't see why not on that. Let's see, I don't want that big one like that. How much is that? Oh, that ain't bad. I'm gonna do it like that. I figured it out the hard way. All right, <clears throat> so we've got them. Started. Get the bell cord. I just want to see. Oh God. I did have a quickie, so. On here. I don't know if y'all grew up on farm or anything of that such thing. But uh, I grew up on what you call it, a ranch or a farm, and pretty much we had a bell fort. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, I don't. We picked up everything with it. Well, I was telling somebody the other day at uh, at work. I, uh, whenever I was in high school, agriculture class, I built some bell forts. Wow. And I built them so that you could remove the center, the, the actual fort part. The, oh man, I don't know what you call it, the shank, the shaft, the bigger part right there. Like this one, see, you can bolt it. Uh, the old ones we used to have didn't have that on there. And there ain't no telling how many. Man, I'm not gonna be able to uh, do that. Go ahead and do it like that. I wanna make sure I can get it strapped down. Anyways. Because there ain't no telling how many of them dang shanks, shafts, whatever you want to call it, um, we broke. And out there where we were at, you know, we didn't ever go buy more. So what we would end up doing was just taking that one that we broke and try to straighten it out as best as we could and uh, <laughs> weld it back on there. All right, so let's go ahead and get the truck. Heading back, get the truck back, come back and grab the tractor, and then, you know, I really need to buy something for the store to get a little more money. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put y'all on pause, so y'all ain't got to ride through all of this. I'll be right back with y'all. Alright, so, uh, I don't think we're buying yet. Oh God, you know, I did not think about, I want to um, do the precision foreman, but I'm not going to have enough money. Similar samples in the bag. Oh, no. Yeah, why not? All right, so, yeah. Our nitrogen, I guess, is okay. Got the precision farming mod in here, so um, I am gonna need some, probably some fertilizer and uh, no, yeah, no. So 
fertilizer and some lime. Hmm. 3,500 is probably just to go with this one. Right here. 2,500. Let's get it. Let's go ahead and get us a big bag of... I've already got fertilizer, so... We're going to need seed. What does that thing hold? How much does it hold? It holds 1,548. So I want to see if I can get that. I think these are smaller bags. Lime 2,000. That's 2,000 liters also. I think, can I get lime? Okay. No. Container? We are going to use them later. <laughs> um, and I kind of wish the lime was cheaper. 350, ain't it? No, 450. Why is that higher? Yep. I mean, either way, I guess we're going to go with that one. Let's head up to the store. We'll, um, I at least want to get this planted today. Um, we'll go head up to the store and grab that. We've already got a bag of fertilizer. And this is also supposed to fertilize too, so I'm going to run up here and grab some lime real quick, and I will be right back with y'all. All right, so we've made it back. I'm going to just set this lime. And I've already filled it up while I was there at the store. Stick this line right there. <clears throat> Alright, let's go ahead and start getting this. Go ahead and start getting this line right here. Okay, you turn it on. Oh. Yeah. Come on. I'm hoping that having the precision foreman mod turned on, that uh, it's going to help not you so much. I mean, you can look, it's not going down that fast. I don't know how I feel about this uh, John Deere. We should get a whole lot wider spread than this. I may end up trying to sell some logs and do a smaller traffic for those actually. So I could be a little bit easier to do a little smaller tractor. Stuff like this, a little stuff here and there. I might have to get that stuff here in just a second. So uh since we're sitting at on this recording 21 minutes, uh, I think the other one's nine minutes or something like that. I'm gonna go ahead and get this line done and then be right back with y'all here in just a second. Alright, so... Hold on. We got one more parking hit right over here. Uh, there. Alright, now we're done. Uh, turn off our line. There we go. I have to turn the help window back on. Figure out what, uh... What some of the buttons were so we don't get this now this spreads um, fertilizer also so we'll do this to see what uh little cedar and we are going to do wheat i do believe let's see what this month is Wheat, barley, and canola. So, I'm going to do wheat. Uh, I don't know. Doesn't. Canola. Let's see, oat isn't that many months, but. Let's see, we're in the month of September right now. Let's do barley, because it looks like I can farm barley before then. Uh, how do. 
Mm. Yeah, we're gonna do barley. Okay, how do I turn this thing on? Is it already on? No. Oh man. Cover, toggle. What the heck that is? Unload. Okay, I guess it's uh I guess it's planning. Alright, so we're gonna get this all planted up. I guess it I guess it is. I ain't never really used the the direct driller. What's nice about having lime on the field is um, you can actually see where if you miss any. So let's get this, we're going to get this planted and I will be right back with y'all. Alright, so we get, got this planted. Go hit a couple spots that I missed. We will hop out and see what our pH level is and our uh, fertilizer level is. I think that's it. And that. Right. Go ahead and hop out. Go check it out. Perfect on both. So we're good. I don't think I missed any spots. I think it's just my tire tracks. Alright, uh we've got all of that. And look at here. We have got some Tomatoes? No. Sorry, strawberries, tomatoes, and some more strawberries. So uh, I'm actually going to grab these, kind of move them out of the way. And then, uh, yeah, let's actually see what our water is doing. It's not too, too bad. Um, yeah, I think, um, I was, I kind of want that John Deere, honestly, uh, I don't know, we may end up going back with one of, oh god, never mind, I want a small tractor, just, just, not something, see, it's like 14,000, I may end up getting a cheap, small tractor to be able to pull this, this, let's see what that fertilizer requires, no. What's the seed require? 60 horsepower. Um, yeah. And this requires 170, so we are going to have to use this tractor for our plow. But, being said that it requires 60 horsepower to pull that planter. Let's see. This one's 80. And that's not that bad a price. And do the well, 80 horsepower. I want to keep the trike. We can actually do weights on the front of that if we wanted to. Don't cost nothing. Seats. I think we're actually going to go with that one. Fenders? Yes. Light position there. Thirty-five hundred dollars. That's not bad. Um, and y'all let me know if I should turn on the lease to mod. Uh, let uh, lease to own mod on. Um, because I kind of want to, but then again, I don't feel like. I mean, I guess we could lease from the um the place over there but uh i'm not too sure i mean y'all y'all just let me know what y'all think if i should be able to and there's no light well there's some old ones yeah not enough money four grand let's see if we can afford there's no sheds i gotta look at some sheds on the mod hub also. 
I mean, I just need something. Let's put my tractor in. And our seeds and stuff like that. I don't want to leave it out. Yeah, well, I'll have to look at the mod hub. But anyways, I think that's going to do it for this episode. It's already almost 40 minutes long. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Have a good day.